friends, do you know what this is? This is our baptism font that we use to baptize all the babies that come through our church. You know what I was reminded? I was reading a story out of the Jesus Storybook Bible that we read each week. And there was this guy named John who did baptisms way different than we do. He actually had people get into the river and he would put them all the way under the water where they were completely washed. And it was a reminder that all of their sins were washed away because of the one who was about to come. And you know who was about to come? Jesus. I want you to hear this great story about John the Baptist. He was a little bit strange. He ate bugs and ate wild honey, and he wore funny clothes, but he loved God. Listen to this story. Heaven Breaks Through About the same time Jesus was born, another baby was born. His name was John, and God had a special job for him. John was going to get everyone ready for Jesus. The day John was born, his dad knew God's promise to Abraham was coming true. God was sending the rescuer, and he was so happy he sang a song. Because God loves us with a never stopping, never giving up, unbreaking, always and forever love, heaven is breaking through. He is sending us a light from heaven to shine on us like the sun to shine on those who live in darkness and in the shadow of death, to guide our feet into the way of peace. So John grew up and, well, to tell you the truth, he was a bit unusual. He lived in the desert. He wore itchy, scratchy outfits made of camel hair. He had a, a big, big, bushy beard and a long, long, scraggly hair. And, and, and here's the oddest thing of all. He ate only locusts. That's short for big, creepy, crunchy grasshoppers. Which he dipped in honey. Oof. To disguise the taste, probably. But God sent John to tell his people something important. Stop running away from God and run to him instead, John said. You need to be rescued. I have good news. The rescuer is coming. Make your hearts ready for him. Yes, get ready, because your king is coming back for you. Great crowds listened to John. They were sorry they had sinned, and they wanted to stop running away from God. They wanted to be rescued. So John baptized them, which means he plunged them in and out of the water. It showed that they wanted to follow God and begin a new life. One day, John was baptizing people in the Jordan River, as usual, when he looked up and saw a man walking down to the water's edge. God spoke quietly to John. This is the one. John's heart leapt. This was the moment he'd been waiting for all his life. Look, John said as Jesus came down into the water. But his voice came out as a whisper. He couldn't make it any louder. It was all he could do to even speak. The, the, the lamb of God, God's best lamb who takes away the sins of the whole world. Will you baptize me too? Jesus asked. Well, who am I? John asked. To baptize you? It's what God wants me to do, Jesus said. So John baptized Jesus. Suddenly, <laughs> It was as if someone had drawn back curtains in a dark room, as if heaven itself had opened, because a beautiful light broke through the clouds and shone down onto Jesus, bathing him in gold. Beads of water glittered and sparkled like tiny diamonds in his hair. A white dove flew down and gently rested on Jesus. And a voice came down from heaven. It was clear and strong and loud so everyone could hear. This is my own son. 
and I love him. I am very pleased with him, God said. Listen to him. Heaven had broken through. The great rescue had begun. What an amazing story that Jesus loved us so much that he came as one of us. He was a real man who came and loved us. And he showed us what being baptized is all about. You see, his baptism was different than ours. He was baptized as a way of saying, I'm the Messiah. And we see that dove, the Holy Spirit, coming to land on him. We get baptized to remind us that we are part of God's family in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. And when you were baptized as a little baby, way before you even remember what was happening, God put his stamp of love on you, saying, you're my beloved. I love you just the way you are your freckles and your funny little smile and your dimples and your red hair and everything about you. That's what God has said to you when you were just a little bitty baby. And so today, let us remember how loved we are by Jesus. Let's pray. Lord Jesus, thank you so much for all my special friends. Pray that they'll have a great week this week as they remember just how loved they are by you. In Jesus' name, amen.